What's good? What's good? What's good? You too. Welcome back to another Mental Health Monday vlog. This is the first vlog of the new year, 2022. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed the holiday season. Uh, if you celebrate Christmas or not, uh, New Year. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, this is the first vlog of the new year. So we're going to start this Monday off right. Uh, I don't know if you can see like in the background. You can see right there. That is snow on my window. Um, I'm currently sitting outside of patient first. I have to get a physical for a uh, school that's coming up. Um, so I'm sitting outside. It is snowing here. There is a snow warning. My son Chase is out of school today. I still have to work later on, but uh, it should be done snowing by the time I have to go to work. So uh, sitting outside, waiting till they open. Thought I'd just record this video now so I can get it up post it for you guys um basically this video is gonna be like a recap of 2021 and then what's the word i'm looking for like a recap for 2021 and then a preview for what's to come in 2022 uh yeah preview was the word i'm looking for so yeah let's basically recap 2021 um where do i start 2021 for me was a tough year uh i'm gonna be very transparent and very vulnerable with you guys um i feel like that's i mean people respect that you be open and honest with them and yeah so before we get started, if you are new to the channel, do me a solid, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the notification bell so you know when I drop another video. But yeah, let's get right to it. So 2021, um, a lot of stuff happened. A lot of, a lot of stuff in my life happened. Um, but before I could get to 2021, I need to talk about 2020. So 2020 was my junior going into senior year of college. Um, I graduated, graduated from Norfolk State. I'll get to that in 2021. But 2020 was a tough year. Um, I was trying to join a fraternity, Alpha Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Uh, and then with the whole pandemic and everything like that, I wasn't able to cross. I was like two weeks away. Everything got shut down on campus, different stuff like that. So that sent me like spiraling uh, down into a bunch of depression because I put a lot of work in. I did a lot of studying. I, 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 I did a lot. And for me not to accomplish that goal, it really hurt me. Um, so yeah, it sent me into a depression. Um, also at the time, my wife was on deployment. So it was just me, my son, and my dog at home. So that also sent me like into a depression because I wasn't, she wasn't there. I wasn't able to talk to her. Different stuff like that. Um, so fast forward, that was 2020. Fast forward to 2021. Um, still dealing with that same depression. I got the opportunity again to try again to join the fraternity. Uh, I was successful this time. I um, joined Alpha Five Fraternity Incorporated. And then in May, May 2021, I graduated from Norfolk State University. I uh, got my bachelor's degree in business entrepreneurship. Uh, with the minor in psychology so that, that was uh, uh those were two highs of uh 2021 um but then the lows came uh i was still battling with depression but i didn't know how to deal with it so um i don't know i just spiraled like it was crazy i was on the verge of getting a divorce. Um, it was just a lot of stuff going on. Um, so, like I said, I was on the verge of getting divorced. I moved um, in with my brother. 
And then I just started um, going to therapy more often. Uh, I was on a weekly schedule, uh, going to therapy, talking to my therapist, working some things out, um, and just mentally getting my mind right. Um, and that's when I started the whole journey of me um, healing from my past. If you watch all the previous videos, you see I went on, um, I talked, had a conversation with my dad, my mentor, my mother. So yeah, that's what kind of started all of that. Um, going to therapy and just unlocking different things and realizing that some of the pain and trauma that I'm going through was deep rooted in stuff that um, I went through as a child, stuff that I never expressed because uh, I didn't express my feelings at all. I locked all those feelings in and psh, came to this point now is just all overflowing uh so yeah definitely i went on that journey still on that journey and i gonna say i went on that journey i'm still on that journey still uh basically breaking down childhood traumas and moving forward as an adult um i'll be 30 this year in 2022 so it has been a long time a lot of emotions been built up over these 30 29 years so yeah that was the whole purpose of me starting this vlog just to help people you know what i'm saying understand that mental health is real and you need your mental health like everybody like oh like a new year's resolution i'm pretty sure everybody like oh it's 2022 it's a new year I'm going to start working out. Woo, woo, woo. Like everybody say that every year. But not just your physical health. You need to your mental health as well. So I, I feel like that's overlooked. Um, especially amongst males. Especially amongst black males. Um, it's overlooked. We don't want to talk about it. We don't want to um, express ourselves. Because we think that it's weak. Uh, different stereotypes around that different stigmas around that so yeah that's why i started this vlog just to be able to show men um that it's okay to express yourself like these feelings you having uh it's nothing wrong with that um and don't bottle the in because it's like you know you get a soda and you shake up a soda and then when you finally open it it just explode everywhere that's pretty much how your emotions are it will take one thing to trigger those emotions and then you just spaz and you're like dang why i'm spazzing it's because you've been bottling all these emotions and now this one event or one situation just trigger everything and now you don't know how to deal with it so therapy i suggest therapy um i'm in the process i mean i'm still in therapy with my therapist but since I moved to Maryland from Virginia, I will have to find another therapist. So I'm in the process of looking for a black male therapist. My my therapist, uh, she was a black female. Um, so she definitely understood. She graduated from HBCU. Uh, so she definitely understood. We connected and yeah, it was good. I uh, actually still have sessions with her throughout the month of January. Um, so we booked up for January, so that's good. And in that time, I will be uh, trying to find another therapist, yeah. Um, so 2021, that was, yeah. Like I said, it was a bunch of, bunch of downs, major depression, uh, anxiety, PTSD, different stuff like that. Um, but I'm working through it. And... This channel is helping me a lot. It's allowing me to vocalize this uh, because it's something I probably, I'm not going to say never. Uh, I don't, don't want to think that like that, but this is definitely like jump started it and helped me out a lot. Um, coming out here, just telling you guys, uh, being transparent, being vulnerable um yeah so like I, I previously stated i was on the verge of divorce um that is not the case now 
me and my wife are working things out. We're going to start therapy together. Um, so yeah, that's a highlight. Uh, definitely excited about that. And yeah, 2022, I feel like it's going to be a great year. Um, starting grad school next the next week january 10th yeah next week so with this whole new outbreak of corona covid19 whatever omicron delta whoever out there um they pushed back the start date to january 19th and then they send out another email and say oh we're gonna start regular time but the first week of classes will be virtual so that's cool um that'll work out i guess uh, i don't mind uh we went through virtual when corona first hit the scene so i'm pretty used to it now just online classes i have orientation this week thursday and friday so that'll be good i'll give y'all that update on next monday's vlog um but yeah 2022 i feel like it's gonna be a good year I'm be more consistent with this vlog. I have different, uh, you know what I'm saying? Different avenues that I'm trying to try out, different businesses I want to start. Like I said, I did get my degree in business entrepreneurship. So a couple business ventures I want to do, uh, continue investing in stocks and crypto. And yeah, just 2022, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm excited about what 2022 has in store for me my family this channel just life in general so yeah that's uh pretty much what this video uh entails preview for 2022 like i said more consistent with videos dropping more content uh so with that being said you guys can help out with the content whatever content you guys want to see i will make videos for so like any questions you have you can drop them down below in the comment section uh any videos in particular anything particularly you want to learn about depression anxiety ptsd uh how i what do i say my methods i use so i'm gonna let's dive I, I guess i can dive deeper into that so my major um like i said was business entrepreneurship minor in psychology I'm going to grad school for social work uh, with a focus in mental health. So my plans for my research, because I do plan on uh, continuing my education to get my PhD in social work. So my research plans will be, uh, my research will be on PTSD, depression and anxiety, and then holistic methods on how to uh, heal from that because I'm not an advocate for medication. I don't like medication. I have bad experiences with medication. Um, so medication is, that's a no-no. So meditation, uh, diet and different stuff like that. That's what I, that's how I, um, am healing and dealing with my mental health. So if you want more information about that, I will be dropping videos, um, but anything specific, you can drop that down below in the comments. Um, and this week, like the first week, I decided to do a fast, so I'm not eating at all. I'm just fasting, drinking water. Um, so that's going to be like just a cleanser to cleanse me out mentally, physically, just cleanse me out starting this uh, year out like that. And yeah, that's that's it for this video i uh, appreciate you guys tuning in patient first is about to open up so i gotta get in line these lines been crazy wrapped around the corner for this covid test but it's snowing outside so it ain't gonna be no line so i i picked the perfect day to come um appreciate you guys tuning in uh if you are new to the channel again hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so you know when i go oh well, not go live but when i drop another video I uh, appreciate you guys. Love you guys. It's Monday. Have a great week. And until next time, remember, spread love, not hate. Peace.